Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Holy Cross Women's Basketball Show presented by Lundgren Honda of Auburn. I'm Kevin Shea, joined alongside by the head coach of the Lady Crusaders, Bill Gibbons. And uh, you guys are playing well right now. Bill won three of four, big win over American, one point win on the road, an American team that was five and two at the time. Uh, what has been the the difference for your team right now, the secret over these three, these last four games of the success. Yeah, I, I, I wish I had a, a magic secret. I'd bottle it or uh, be working on Wall Street, uh, Kev, because people have asked me that. I don't know if it's just coming together, just a realization, just, uh, you know, we've been doing more things together. Lisa's had them over the house a couple times, and, uh, you know, we had a little freshman skit. I, I think that might sound corny, but right. I think it does carry over onto yeah. the court as far as sharing the ball and, and uh, and playing more as a team, you know, yep. I've had a lot of kids that have said that through the years that, you know, our uh, caring about each other off the court carried on to the court. So we're just playing more like a team and uh, both offensively and defensively. Five girls playing as one on the defensive end and five girls playing as one on the offensive end. So it's nice to be clicking because uh, we were scuffling there for a while. Right, right. Now uh, certainly things looking different. Uh, We've talked about Lauren Manis uh, each and every segment, but each and every show, but it bears talking about again because her right. numbers just keep going up, 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 you know, getting better and better, coming off a, a 19 point, 14 rebound mm -hmm. effort against American. The, the rebounds was a career high. Right. Can, and we talk, we'll talk to her later on in the show, but her self-confidence on the court, how much have you seen it grow from the beginning of the season to where it is now? Well, and, and I, I, I think Lauren will admit it. I think we were obviously playing tough teams right. early too. So it's be nice if a freshman could come in and, and play lesser teams and build up. But as, as our non-conference schedule, you know, with the likes of Arizona State and the BCs and the, you know, Yukons next year down the road, uh, you, you're playing the fire. So right. just naturally when you get into the league, you're gonna be playing coming down a level but very good players but you know now maybe that confidence you gained like playing against the big kids in the neighborhood the, exactly the high school right. kids and now you come down yeah. and play against the seventh or eighth kids graders your age. your age you can do it but i've just seen a and we've we've been consciously getting her the ball better if she's one-on-one right. -on -one in the post i think the girls know she can score yeah so they've been getting her to rock and that's been important yeah, and then right. you look at some of maybe even balance scoring too. You're talking about five players playing as one defensively. I think offensively you're getting, it seems like each game there's three players that are going to be in double figures. It, it, Manus is going to be in double figures, and then it's right. uh, Infinity, yep. Trisha Byrne, Katie right. Doherty. One of, the two of balance. those three are right. going to be in double figures. Right. So you're going to have three people scoring in double figures every night, right. which makes you obviously a little more difficult to no defend, question. especially when you have other players getting six to eight, whether right. it's Megan Swords, whether it's you know, Chipping in. Right. has an hour, these other players as yep. well. That's key. That, that's key, and that's been all our better teams have had that balance of you know, four or, or, or even five with 10 or better and a couple chicken, chipping in with six or eight. But right. you need that balance, and I see that coming with maturity. All right, we'll take a time out and be back with plenty more of the Holy Cross Women's Basketball Show presented by Lundgren Honda of Auburn right after this. Welcome to Lundgren Honda of Auburn. We are the largest Honda dealer in central Massachusetts. Choose from over 500 new and pre-owned Hondas always in stock. And inside, you'll find all the support you'll need to make your ownership experience the best it can be. That's why we have the highest return of repeat buyers here at Lundgren Honda. Listen, if we don't have it here, chances are you won't find it anywhere. Lundgren Honda of Auburn. Experience it. There's something about central Massachusetts that makes it a great place to live and work. Our history, our heritage, our values, our resilience and drive to innovate. At Unibank, we're proud to call Central Massachusetts home, and we're committed to remaining true to our founding purpose, to be the best bank for all customers, large and small. Unibank, big bank know-how, community bank attitude. Member FDIC, member DIF. What you said, wine and spirits, where you'll shop in comfort, one of the area's largest selection of over 1,500 domestic, international, and craft beers. A wide selection of fine domestic and international wines for any occasion, as well as unique premium liquors and handcrafted spirits. What you said staff is committed to exceptional customer service and finding specialty items for their customers. Visit whatyousaidliquors.com for monthly specials and gift certificates. Route 12 West Boylston, across from the manor. 
Percy's is a proud sponsor of the Holy Cross Women's Basketball Show. At Percy's, we've got it all. Appliances, electronics, televisions, and more. Percy's, 19 Glenny Street in Worcester, right off of Gold Star Boulevard. Visit us online at percys.com. Established in 1939, Standard Auto is a name that you can trust. With over 40 acres of early and late model parts, Standard Auto has what you need. Bring us your worn out or used cars. Call us last for the best prices. Standard Auto, 257 Granite Street in Worcester. It's Meze Greek Tapas Bar and Grill, Worcester's only authentic Greek Tapas, 156 Shrewsbury Street in Worcester. Chow Bella Restaurant, Pizza and Catering Service, located at 402 Grove Street in Worcester. The best caterer for four years running. Portions of the Holy Cross Basketball Show are brought to you by Dunkin' Donuts. America runs on Dunkin'. O'Connor's Restaurant and Bar, 1160 West Boylston Street in Worcester. Visit us at the West Boylston DQ Chill and Grill on Route 12, right off of I-190 Exit 4. Visit us online at dqcakes.com. Welcome to the Compass Tavern. At the Compass, we offer a delicious menu featuring the best American style in New England dishes made from scratch in our kitchen. Whether it's lunch, dinner, or special celebrations, the Compass Tavern is the place to go. The Holy Cross Basketball Show is presented by Lundgren Honda of Auburn. Welcome back, everyone. Well, Coach, since we last spoke, uh, you're three and one. Well, we talked about the American win briefly Correct. at the top of the show as being the signature win right now because they were five and two in the league at the time and it was on the road. Um, but even just your play through those four games, uh, some some big wins. Lehigh, one of them, obviously, right. you know, American. Tough loss to Army, who's still a very good team. Uh, the started off with at Lafayette. Needed a win. Lafayette's coming in on a 15-game losing streak, which they beat LaSalle in their first game of the year, which was a signature win for them. And then have been in every game, lose to Army in triple overtime. I, as a coach, you dread playing a team right. because of the law of averages. Right. We go down there and I fire them up, and we come out like a house on fire and go up like 22 to 7 or something in the first quarter and really take it to them. And we're up, uh, I think, 15 at half. And they start chipping away, chipping away, chipping away, and they get it to four. But we have enough gumption to win it by eight on the road and just needed a win, you know, and a road win. I promised them Wawa. That was the uh, uh, right up at the top of the hill. And, and uh, I wish we had more Wawas around because we, we really played well. But uh, got us off the snide. Then we come home to play Lehigh. Good crowd here. Maybe our most complete game. Hold them to 47 points, win 65 47. Now we're getting a little confidence. Played well against Army, yeah. uh, but they, they hit some threes against the zone and, and uh, nip and tuck game and lose a close one. So got a little confidence, but weren't able to get that win, which right. would have been a signature win. Right. So now I, uh, we, we go down to America and I say to my staff, we need a signature win. We had two good wins, but we need a quality win and nothing like a quality win on the road. And we go down to American, and it's the opposite of Lafayette. We get down 19 to five. Right. Outscore them 20 to uh, five in the third period, and make a great comeback. And Infinity hits a foul shot with 3.7 seconds, and we win by one. And uh, so that's what we're coming off—a quality win. Now we got to build on that. Right. You know, we got a week to get ready for our Navy and uh, uh, prepare to build on that, and see if our freshmen can get some confidence. How much does it help to having the week off? Because you're normally playing two games a week, and it's right. that you get the thing, and so now you've come off winning three of four, right. and that big signature win, and you get time maybe to give, if players need an extra day or two, just to get right. healthy or just the normal kind of you know wearing down of the body right. that you get. The, the flip side of that is you'd like to keep playing because yeah, you're playing you're right. well, but the other side of that, it's been the grind, and 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 we went like 17 straight days because they're not in class, right. so they needed. So uh, I think the the days off help them re-energize, recuperate. Now hopefully we'll have three good practices Wednesday, Thursday, Friday to get ready for a uh, Navy team that's won seven in a row and then now sits in second place. Do you? At this point in the season, do you feel like you have to change a lot from game to game, whether it's uh, offensively what yes. you want to do or defensively what you want to do, or is it pretty much we know who we are, the other teams have to adjust to us? That's a good question, Kev, because uh, I've talked to my son Billy uh, uh, about that, who, you know, experienced as a coach at WPI with Chris Bartley, and, uh, uh, and, and we talked about that, and then we talked about it as a staff. But I think every game is different. We can't say 
we're going into this game and we're going to play X defense and Y defense, right. you know, every game. Right. Sometimes it could be X defense and Z defense that wins it for you. So, right. um, you know, uh, the Navy game at Navy when we were down by 17, we used the 1-3-1 one, one zone and came back. The right. other day at American, we switched to a 2-3 zone and came back. So right. I think our identity is we'll switch defenses and whatever's working. And then offensively, we've tried to put four good shooters around Lauren. That's been our change offensively to go four around one, and that seems to have worked. So that's kind of our identity on offense. And we've talked about the freshman class and, and how they've been uh, chipping in. And um, you know, we, we'll talk to, uh, to Madeline Springfield, another freshman, Lauren Manis. Springfield's fifth on the team in scoring. Right. Manis obviously is phenomenal, but Swords had a great game against American. Five offensive rebounds, four points. How big a role can she play uh, for you the second half yeah, of the season? I think Megan can be a, a, a force just because of her size and her ability to rebound. So we played all six freshmen played in the American game. All six of yeah. the ten I played. So they're all getting great experience, but Megan really changed the game with her defense and rebounding, then offensive rebounding. So she could be a force for us down the stretch, no question. All right, we'll take a timeout. We will introduce you to two of those freshmen coming back as the Holy Cross Women's Basketball Show, presented by Lundgren Honda of Auburn, continues. It's Meze Greek Tapas Bar and Grill, Worcester's only authentic Greek tapas, 156 Shrewsbury Street in Worcester. Welcome to Lundgren Honda of Auburn. We are the largest Honda dealer in central Massachusetts. Choose from over 500 new and pre-owned Hondas, always in stock. And inside, you'll find all the support you'll need to make your ownership experience the best it can be. That's why we have the highest return of repeat buyers here at Lundgren Honda. Listen, if we don't have it here, chances are you won't find it anywhere. Lundgren Honda of Auburn, experience it. There's something about central Massachusetts that makes it a great place to live and work. Our history, our heritage, our values, our resilience and drive to innovate. At Unibank, we're proud to call Central Massachusetts home, and we're committed to remaining true to our founding purpose, to be the best bank for all customers, large and small. Unibank, big bank know-how, community bank attitude. Member FDIC, member DIF. Percy's is a proud sponsor of the Holy Cross Women's Basketball Show. At Percy's, we've got it all. Appliances, electronics, televisions, and more. Percy's, 19 Glenny Street in Worcester, right off of Gold Star Boulevard. Visit us online at percys.com. Established in 1939, Standard Auto is a name that you can trust. With over 40 acres of early and late model parts, Standard Auto has what you need. Bring us your worn out or used cars. Call us last for the best prices. Standard Auto, 257 Granite Street in Worcester. The Bagel Inn, 785 Main Street, Route 122A in Holden. Open daily at 5.30 a.m. Specializing in wicked awesome bone-in and boneless wings, the Wicked Wing Company, 321 West Boylston Street in Worcester, is your home for the best wings in Worcester. Check out our menu online at wickedwingco.com. The Fix Burger Bar. Handmade burgers, elixirs, and shakes for whatever ails you. Chick-fil-A Westboro proudly supports the Crusaders women's basketball program. We would love the opportunity to serve you at our restaurant at 286 Turnpike Road, Westboro. Here's to a great season. Mark Bernier is your Worcester area Edward Jones financial advisor. Whether you're planning for retirement, college, or protecting your financial future, give Mark a call at 508-755-1213. The Holy Cross Basketball Show is presented by Lundgren Honda of Auburn. Welcome back, everyone. I'm here with freshman guard Madeline Smith. And uh, Madeline, we'll talk first about your, your family connection with uh, two older sisters playing college sports, one playing field hockey at UConn, number one on the country team, and another one playing basketball at Amherst. How did they help you maybe get through the recruiting process? Because uh, that can kind of be nerve-wracking as a, as a high school player. Actually, the recruiting process, especially for basketball, it was all new to my family and me. Um, my older sister actually walked on at Amherst, so she never went through the experience. So it was honestly all on me and my family to try and figure out and navigate it. 
So. How do they help you, uh, just in terms of everything? I mean, college life, athletics, having been through it already, and just being older sisters. Yeah, I mean, even in high school, they just created a whole path for me that I could follow. I mean, obviously looking up to them, I might have had to fill their shoes a little bit, but it was a great thing to look up to, and they were amazing role models for me, especially in college. And do you talk to them on the phone a lot? Is it texting, emailing, uh, the normal social media stuff? Yep. On the daily, I talk to them and ask them about any problems I have or anything in college life that they can answer for me. What's been the most difficult thing maybe to adjust to being a, being a college student athlete from high school? Um, definitely time management. In high school, you wake up early in the morning and you have the rest of the day. In college, you have all the time in the world, but you still have to figure out when to put basketball in there and schoolwork. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot to deal with. Uh, in terms of your play, you're scoring your fifth on the team in scoring, getting a lot of playing time. What has that been like for you to get thrust right into, you know, a pretty significant role? Um, well, obviously, having the older sisters, I've been in that role many times before. And so it's kind of normal for me. And they have a lot of confidence in me, which, I, don't, I mean, I take very well. And it helps me get through these games. Do you think that you're having two older sisters made you more competitive, like just playing with them growing up? Yes, everything was a competition and still everything is competition <laughs> to like me and my whole family. It was even like eating vegetables was a competition for us. Who could eat the most, who yes. could eat the fastest? Were they teasing you a lot or was it just more just straight competition? Straight competition. Winner is the winner. <laughs> what, uh, you, you haven't gone through the whole league yet, um, but looking at the Patriot League, how different are Patriot League games from the games you guys played, the non-league games you played earlier in the season? Um, well, they even said it right when our um, out-of-league games were done. All the old upperclassmen were saying how the games were about to get easier and the teams were about to become a little bit more like us. So it was definitely a big transition from going to play Arizona State and then going to see the teams in the Patriot League. But I think any given day, we can beat any given team. So. And uh, when you came up here for your visit, you came up, there's a pretty good story about Mother's Day and coming up for your visit and then committing and, and calling to talk to Lisa Gibbons, not necessarily coach, to accept. Tell us what it was, uh, what the, the events surrounding and what day and all that stuff. Um, so when I did come up, I think it was a couple days before Mother's Day, and um, I remember it was just a complete family atmosphere here, and I got that vibe the whole time while I was here. So I decided that I wanted to do it in like a special way. So wanted to call the coach's wife and I did and told her that I was committing. That's pretty cool. I know he enjoyed it and, and Lisa really appreciated it. Madeline, thanks for joining us and good, good luck the rest of the season. Thank you. That's freshman guard Madeline Smith. We're back with more right after this. Welcome to Lundgren Honda of Auburn. We are the largest Honda dealer in central Massachusetts. Choose from over 500 new and pre-owned Hondas always in stock. And inside, you'll find all the support you'll need to make your ownership experience the best it can be. That's why we have the highest return of repeat buyers here at Lundgren Honda. Listen, if we don't have it here, chances are you won't find it anywhere. Lundgren Honda of Auburn, experience it. There's something about central Massachusetts that makes it a great place to live and work. Our history, our heritage, our values, our resilience and drive to innovate. At Unibank, we're proud to call Central Massachusetts home, and we're committed to remaining true to our founding purpose, to be the best bank for all customers, large and small. Unibank, big bank know-how, community bank attitude. Member FDIC, member DIF. What you said, wine and spirits, where you'll shop in comfort one of the area's largest selection of over 1,500 domestic, international, and craft beers. A wide selection of fine domestic and international wines for any occasion, as well as unique premium liquors and handcrafted spirits. What you said staff is committed to exceptional customer service and finding specialty items for their customers. Visit whatchusetliquors.com for monthly specials and gift certificates. Route 12, West Boylston, across from the manor. Before or after the Crusaders hit the court, come on down to Bentley Pub in Auburn, Route 12 near the junction of the Mass Pike. Visit us online at BentleyPub.com. It all starts with a touch. The smallest thing that sets her heart in motion. The rhythm of love, the only jewelry powered by her heartbeat. 
New Tech Design is a proud supporter of Holy Cross women's basketball, custom printing, embroidery, promotional items, and more. Visit us online at newtechdesigngroup.com. Established in 1939, Standard Auto is a name that you can trust. With over 40 acres of early and late model parts, Standard Auto has what you need. Bring us your worn out or used cars. Call us last for the best prices. Standard Auto, 257 Granite Street in Worcester. The Holy Cross Basketball Show is presented by Lundgren Honda of Auburn. Welcome back, everyone. I'm joined by freshman forward Lauren Manis. And uh, Lauren, we'll first talk about your family uh, history with athletics and then get into your play this year. Um, your mom played basketball in college at UVM. Your dad played yeah. baseball at Ithaca. How much did that help or how much did they help you in terms of the recruiting process, in terms mm -hmm. of growing up playing sports, and then even the day-to-day -day stuff now being a college athlete? Yeah, um, my parents definitely helped me a lot in the recruiting process, um, especially for basketball. It starts really early, so I was about a sophomore when I started getting recruited, and I didn't really know how to handle it, but they helped me recognize that I have to be proactive and I can't just sit back and wait for coaches to contact me, so that was really helpful. Um, and then they helped me decide Holy Cross because they're just so supportive and I wanted to be close to them and I wanted them to be able to make my games and stuff, so. Yeah, what's it yeah. like to, because you're close to home, that you can mm -hmm. look up in the stands and know you're gonna see them, and, and I'm sure maybe some other family and friends are able to come too as well. Yeah, it's awesome. I love seeing my parents in the stands, and um, on many different occasions, I had a huge crowd just for me, so it's awesome. It kind of gives me a little bit of confidence in the game, but I think that's a big part of why I chose Holy Cross. And we'll talk about confidence, too, in terms of your play. You have seven mm -hmm. double-doubles this season. How much has your confidence grown from the beginning of the season to where you are right now? It has grown immensely. In the beginning, I was kind of hesitant. I didn't want to take too many shots or, or, like, hog the ball or anything because I'm only a freshman. But now I kind of know my place on the team, and I know what I can do. And I'm sure your teammates now are telling you, take the shots. I don't <laughs> want to see you take five shots. I want to see you take 15. Yeah, they are. That helps, so I'm it sure just, yeah, to, just to say, okay, I'm not, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm not hogging the ball. They want me to shoot. I, mm -hmm. I can do it. I can score. Um, yeah. Your mom playing at UVM, did you mm -hmm. guys play against each other at all growing up? Did she kind of give you pointers? Did she teach you at all? Yeah. Um, actually, my mom and my dad would always come out in the cul-de-sac with me, and my dad was actually the one who would play against me because my mom has a bad knee, but she always gives me pointers. She actually helped me a lot with my jump shot. I mean, it's kind of funny. We have a picture of her jump shot and my jump shot, and they're exactly the same. It's kind <laughs> your of funny. mom, uh, Coach Gibbons, coached against your mom yeah. when she was at UVM. Mm -hmm. When did you learn about that connection? Well, he just told me about five minutes ago. How old is he, do you think? He's um, got to be in his 70s. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, of course, but yeah. uh, it is a pretty cool connection. Uh -huh. Now, Patriot League games, and I asked mm -hmm. Madeline this too. Do you notice a difference in intensity in Patriot League games? Mm -hmm. I do a little bit. Um, it was different in the preseason before the Patriot League because we're playing Penn State, Arizona State, um, and especially for me in the post, it's a lot different. The kids are much smaller in the Patriot League, and I feel like I can kind of dominate more. But I think, I mean, it's still a challenge. Patriot League teams are still really good, and we just need to keep sharing the ball and getting better. You're coming off a huge win over American, so mm -hmm. things are things are going in the right direction. Lauren, thanks for joining us, and best of luck the rest of the way. Thank you for having me. That's freshman forward Lauren Manis. We're back with more right after this. Welcome to Lundgren Honda of Auburn. We are the largest Honda dealer in central Massachusetts. Choose from over 500 new and pre-owned Hondas always in stock. And inside, you'll find all the support you'll need to make your ownership experience the best it can be. That's why we have the highest return of repeat buyers here at Lundgren Honda. Listen, if we don't have it here, chances are you won't find it anywhere. Lundgren Honda of Auburn. Experience it. City Trophy, conveniently located at 32 Auburn Street in Auburn. us at the commercial fruit and garden outlet personalized fruit and gift baskets for the holidays or any occasion 1050 Southbridge Street on the Worcester Auburn line beautiful to look at delicious to eat after the game come on down to flip-flops on Main Street in Holden good food good friends good times flip-flops on Main Street in Holden 
Portions of the Holy Cross Basketball Show are brought to you by The Boynton, 117 Highland Street in Worcester. Visit us online at BoyntonRestaurant.com. Quinn's Irish Pub on West Boylston Street in Worcester. From appetizers, lunch, dinner, or our weekly specials, our pub selections are a must on your night out. Portions of the Holy Cross Basketball Show are brought to you by Girton Graphics, Southbridge Street in downtown Worcester. The Holy Cross Basketball Show is presented by Lundgren Honda of Auburn. Welcome back, everyone. Well, uh, Coach, a big honor for a uh, Worcester basketball guy. You know, a good friend of yours, D. Rowe, uh, recently right. announced that he was given by the National Basketball Hall of Fame, the Basketball Hall of Fame, the Outstanding Contributor to Basketball Award, and he'll, he'll get the award at a banquet when they have the Hall of Fame uh, induction spot. I know a guy that has meant a ton to you and... and right. You know, everyone in Worcester that knows him, anyone in the basketball community right. knows him, loves him, and so well-deserved. Class, Worcester guy, been great to me. Just to read his digest, we, we uh, lose to UConn by seven. Amy O'Brien pours in 37 points. We play him the next year, first game on a Sunday afternoon. We get drilled. We're down by 20 at the first media timeout, 40 at halftime, lose by like 50. And uh, the first guy to see me out of the locker room was D. Rowe to pick me up and right. say, they were ready for you, Billy, this and that. Then I find out later, the guy flew in from California at like 11 o'clock and went right to the stadium, uh, right to the arena. So he could have left after we were down 20. He certainly could have left at halftime. He could have left in the third quarter, right. and he stayed because a Worcester guy needed to pick me up. And I'll never, ever forget that story. But that's D. Rowe. Yeah. That's class. Yep. And, you know, a Worcester right. kid needed him. A young coach needed him. I'll never forget that. So he's near and dear to my heart. Yeah, he is. He's such a such a good man and right. such a his class is the right word when right. you talk about D. Rowe. Uh, I think even the UConn game, people fans left that game early. Right, right. That they game, probably but did. D. Rowe stuck they around. They probably did, right. Looking right. up uh, at some of the games you have coming up. Navy this weekend, this Saturday, Navy here at the Hard Center. Yep. Um, Great to have a couple home games coming up, but, but we'll start with Navy. Um, what are the keys to keeping this winning streak going and, and winning here at home? Well, I think with them, we got to keep them out of the paint. They just beat Army at Army. They've won seven in a row. They really penetrate and kick. Our defense has got to be key. And then offensively, we got to go inside because they're not that big. So we've got to get the ball into Lauren and, and uh, Maddie and Megan and our other forwards and try to score inside. It's alumni day. So I won't have to fire them up. We got about 20 or 25 alums coming back. Should be a great atmosphere and a big game and gets us kind of back in the in the upper echelon in the league if we can beat them. Yeah, and then in a week and a half on Super Bowl Saturday, uh, you're playing here against Bucknell in a game that's going to be nationally televised on right. CB, uh, American Sports Network. How big are those games for recruiting, you know, that yep. when it's going to go out like that? Nationally, yeah. And they have it in our building with all the, the, the uh, great changes that uh, Nate and his staff have done. It's going to be awesome for recruiting. Uh, they're undefeated in the league. So the next two Saturdays, we're playing the top two teams in the league. Hope the fans of Worcester will come out and, and support us. They're two, two big games, and, and the American Sports Network game is a big game for our recruiting is right. Yeah, all right. Well, Coach, certainly thanks for joining us, and best of luck on this next stretch and these big games you have right here at the Heart Center. Thanks, Kev. Great to be with you, and we'll see you down the road. All right, thank you for watching the Holy Cross Women's Basketball Show presented by Lundgren Honda of Auburn. As Coach said, we'll see you at the Heart Center, if not sooner. <laughs> thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs>